how to create multiple product pages in Shopify. So go ahead and open your browser. In the search bar, type in Shopify.com and make sure that your account is logged in. Once you're in the Shopify admin page, see the left panel in here and click on the online store. On this drop-down options, select pages. Next, tap on add page on the top right corner and then from here, you can add your product title. So just type that in, scroll down and tap on save. Now, once the page is created, additional icons will show here. So just click on duplicate. Confirm it on this window. Clear copy off and then rename that page after confirming and then hit save again. You can create three or four more pages, whatever you want. And after creating that certain number of pages that you want, the next thing to do is to select the themes. It can be seen under the online store in this left panel. And once you're in the themes page, click on customize as we're going to edit the page just we created. From here, click on the home page on the top. Here with the drop down icon, proceed to pages and once this loaded, click on default. As you can see, we are now on the second page that we did a while ago, which was the sample 2. Now go to the left side panel of your screen and you will see a control panel for each part of the page. To add feature product page, go down to the template, tap on add section. In here, choose a featured product or featured collection. So just choose whatever you want. And as you can see, the featured collection has been added. Moving on, if you don't know how to create a featured collection, we will now do that to keep you guided. So go save this edit and then go back to the home page. Tap on products on the left panel. After that, select collections under the products tab. Now tap on create collection on the top right corner. Once you're directed to the editing page, add a name for your collection. You can also add a description and add collection image. After that, scroll down and here you will see the collection type of your collection. Select automated. This will automatically add products that meets your condition in your collection. Below is the conditions tab which you can control. So the first one is the all conditions or any condition. This is all up to you. Next is the more specifics. So for example, you want to add certain products in a certain price range. So click on the first drop down menu, click on the price. But as you can see here, there's a lot of options to choose from. It could be your title, the product type, category, vendor, the compare at price, even the weight inventory stock and the variance title so just choose here whatever you need for your collection next to that is another option next to that is another option for the price these are the available conditions but if we check every option has different conditions so take note of that as well then lastly input the price that you want so in my case, I want to include everything that is less than a thousand. Now, if you want to add additional conditions, simply click on this button and you will be given another tab for another condition. Once you're done editing your conditions, click on save and that should do it. Now, if you want to create a collection manually, go ahead on the create collection button again, type in your title, description, and image. Scroll down to the collection type and choose manual. After that, tap on save. Now you will then be delivered to this page. And to add products in the collection, just scroll down until you see the products. Tap on browse. And from here, you can browse through your product list and choose products that you want to add in the collection. After that, tap on view to preview it. And here is the sample of the collection that we did. Now we need to go back to the online store, choose themes, and click on the customize button. Once you're in the editing page again, tap on the home page, click page, default, and from here you can see the last page that we did. And if you remember, we added a featured. 
If you wish to customize this more and add new features, just explore it on the panel on the left side and you can add whatever you want. You can add images, banners, slideshows, and the like. Now let's add the collection that we did. So click on add section, choose collection list. Now let's add the collection that we did. So click on add section, choose collection list and choose the collection that we made a while ago. As you can see, it will then be added here. In this page, you can also In this page, you can also edit the footer of the page. Select the footer. And from here, you can delete and add particular sections. Here on the left panel, you can check and uncheck these boxes based on your references. So, for example, I don't want to display the payment icons, so just uncheck that, and as you can see, it will disappear from the page. So, just feel free to edit any options available in here. Once you're done with this, just click on Save on the top right corner, go back to the homepage of Shopify, and now click on the online store, and here select Navigation. Once you are here, tap on the main menu. It is under the menu tab. In here, we will add the product pages to the navigation bar on top of the whole homepage. To do this, click on add menu item. Then, for example, you'll type in product to search for the particular page. Now, proceed to the link bar and select pages. Select the product sample one and then click on done. Add menu again and type in sample. In the link, select Pages and select Sample 2. Now that we have added both pages, we want to move them up and to do that, click on the six dots, drag them under the Home tab or whenever or wherever tab you want to put them. After that, we will check the preview of the pages that we just added. So click on Save on the top right corner and now Hover your mouse to the online store and click on the eye icon. As you can see, the two product pages will be visible here on the home tab. Once you have created and organized your product pages, make sure to review their settings, including the shipping options, the payment gateways, and any additional integrations you may want to use, like the email marketing or the social media. Lastly, remember to regularly update and maintain your product pages with accurate information, high-quality images, and engaging descriptions to provide the best shopping experience for your customers. So that is how to create multiple product pages in Shopify. Do let us know if this video helped you out, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.